hello friends welcome to tutorial days and in this video i'm going to show you how to create a professional e-commerce website without any code knowledge in case you don't know php mysql javascript jquery and html css in spite of that, of that if you want to develop any professional website then i will show you step by step that how you can develop any professional nice looking website uh, with this technology okay so let's do one thing infinityfree.net where you can host your website for free i have already created account here in case you have if you have not created then you can first register and then login so i will log in here and then i have two accounts here so i will show you installing in any any one of these so here in domains i have two domains registered here one is to do here res.in and second one is this one so let's see what is inside this okay so what i'll do i will install in this one uh, so i'll go to file manager okay so currently i have one file i'll delete this and install a new wordpress so it's easy if you go to accounts then you can and click in any one of these you will find this option so what i'll do i will directly install here through shop close and then here you can see the complete option whatever you want to install so here i will install this wordpress okay and then it asks where do i want to install so i will install in this domain and then this is the version so site name my e commerce site and putting just admin admin123 you should give any proper password this is for just uh, learning purpose that's why and that's it now we will click on install so automatically it will get installed all right so now our wordpress website is successfully installed this is demo template or theme and in admin section so this is the admin section now what we need to do we will install here a premium theme called flat sum this flat sum theme using this flat sum theme you can develop a premium website okay so i'll show you how to do that i'll click on themes here and then add a new theme i have this theme so that's why i'll upload a theme so i'll just upload okay the theme is successfully install and now we will activate it so let's go now it asks you whether you want to create a child theme or not this is the best practice that you should create a child theme because when uh, the theme will be updated in that case if you don't create a child theme and if you make any modification for example CSA JavaScript and etc then there is higher chance that the core theme will be updated and your changes will be overwritten and if you have child theme then the core theme will be updated and it will not overwrite the child theme okay so let's create the child theme okay continue 
now it asks to install content form 7 and all this thing woocommerce since we are going to uh, work on e-commerce theme so that is why let's install these plugins okay particularly we need these two plugins and these are important because and this one also if you want to have wish list so woocommerce and then content form 7 is essential plugin let's continue to install and now it asks you whether you want to install this demo data or not so let's do one thing let's install this demo data as well now you are given here choices which one you want to display so this is the default one and there is another type of theme this one this one okay so the best one as per my experience let's select the first one okay now finally it's installed so guys finally your e-commerce website is installed just i clicked here and uh, it says if you want to set up woocommerce then you can set up that one also but we can do that later and uh, this is our newly installed wordpress so what it has you can see there is mega menu and also if you click on shop then you can see so all the products here demo products here and in the left side you can see these are demo categories you can click in any one of these and you can see all the products related to that if you click on any individual product then you go here and add to cart and then view cart and finally proceed to checkout so guys as you can see all the features are present here so customer will enter here and of course we need to set up your payment gateway and then it will show and finally user will click on place order and your e-commerce website is complete ready now so without writing any code you can see that you can develop a website okay so now uh, these are the default features you can customize for example where it says flat sum so what you need you can upload your own logo i will show you step by step that how you can customize all these things step by step if you go here then you will see theme options and then header so logos and site identity click on this now let's see that how you can customize the top bar this one okay so flat sum and then header logo top bar also so let's click on this now you can see if you click here then it shows you here add anything or just remove this text you can change from here okay the above one so i just change to welcome to my sue website okay so as you can see this text got uh, changed now so you can customize from here now let's go to top bar okay and then this new letter what you can see here you can customize from here so what do you want background image all the things you can customize from here and social icon there are three or four social icon you can click here and then you can provide the link here for example facebook link twitter link pinterest link instagram tiktok email address so whatever you want when you enter any data then it will display okay and if you don't enter then it will not display for example if you don't need twitter here or email so just remove then 
automatically it will get removed here so as you can see how easy it is and one very important thing if you want to change this header so if you click on preset okay here this preset if you click on preset then you have different kind of header here for example if you need this kind of header then instantly on the fly it will show you that how this header will look so you can see this is our new header second one for example if you want to keep here the header into the center section then you can see this uh, logo is now in center and this one is in the left side and rest of the things in the right side so in short there are different preset uh, you can choose as per your requirement there are lot of preset headers here okay suppose i just selected this one you can see sign up and join okay and uh, if i select this one so there are different presets so what i will do i will keep the current one first one which was there okay so let's keep it for e-commerce normally this is the good one because logo and all the things and then cart okay and here also you can customize this one also for example account so in my account what kind of icon you want to keep for example you, if you want to keep this icon then it will display icon also right so so level if you want to only keep icon there are a lot of customization here also so what kind of style you want to keep okay so these are the things you can customize apart from that you can also customize this cart from here so what kind of icon you want to keep there for example if i want to keep this kind of icon then i can also change the icon there and in the left side also and yes most important here logo okay so if you want to change logo then you can see this is the default one if i want to change this logo then select image so upload your logo from here for example i will take any logo so suppose i want to take my this a soft tech logo then select actually there was white background that's why it's not looking good so let's take any other upload from here so rather i will take this one okay So this is showing only HQ and it, it has also white background that's why. Logo container width you can also customize here logo width. To be white only. Okay this one I think is better because it has red and black. This is just example you can select your logo of course yeah so you can see now we have successfully changed the logo and you have also option here container width okay and uh, max width logo padding so these are the options which is provided here and site icon here this one you can select here site icon as well so let's do one thing mm, i will select the but it's very big actually all right crop it so it says that it will show here like this and you can see guys it is displaying here right so this way you can customize and you can see we have not written any line of code and now this search icon this one is you can see how beautifully it has been developed 
you just need to select any one of these which kind of search icon you want to keep so as per your requirement as per your uh, look uh, you can customize these things and there are different search type also that what kind of search type you want to keep like light box you can see this is light box right and uh, drop down if i want to keep it drop down then it it normally displays here when you publish it okay light box flat so these, these are the options you can customize from there and now this is the main menu okay this is the main menu now height you can customize and also background image if you want to keep here you can add here divider and navigation different kind of navigation has been provided here so which kind of navigation you want to keep that one is also customizable you can see selected nav and navigation size there are different options provided here and font size also you can customize from here so default navigation spacing how much spacing you want from one menu to another one you can customize this one also and also this is in if you want to keep in upper case hover overlay there are different options here so navigation height navigation path navigation color right so there a lot of customization option here so whatever changes you have made you will now click on submit and one very important thing there are lot of blocks here and custom html also so for example if you want to keep anything just beside this then you can keep that one also for example what i'm going to do this is html2 so i will drag and keep here okay now when i customize this then this is html2 so now get 50% offer now it's loading so guys you can see you can write here some text also get 50% offer now so these are the areas okay so the in this area you can drag and whatever you want you can write there so this is very flexible okay so what i'll do just save it and for the time being we have completed this menu in the top bar and menu okay now let's work on the slider section so in the next chapter i will show you how to and not only that you can see that how it will show in tablet view just clicking here if you click here then it will show how it will display in mobile view okay so these are the option directly you can see from here only you can test that okay so it's displaying proper or not so how flexible it is built you can see so just i'll close it and then we will work on slider section so guys that's it in this chapter we will work on uh, in the next chapter let's meet to customize this uh, slider banner hello guys welcome back to tutorial days and you are learning flat some theme and how to develop a e-commerce website without writing the code so in this section we in the previous section we have worked on the top section the header section and now 
let's see how you can customize this uh, slider banner so now let's go here and then um, better let's go here let's go back and then edit page and edit ux builder it has uh, on uh, ux builder and when you click on that you can see in the left side there are a lot of options in fact whatever section you are seeing it can be customized from here so for example in the top there is slider banner click on that and you can see one two three four there are four banners okay so click on any one of the banners and here you can see expand then the text is displaying here whatever text you are seeing so not only that if you in this slider banner in this banner if you click then click on option and what we will do we will upload here our own image so change media and then let's go to our local file let's select any one of these banners so for demo purpose i will select this one and then use this so guys you can see there is beautiful banner has been set easily now this text this one it has the feature where you can a bit drag drop also you can adjust just dragging and dropping for example if you want to keep it in the left side then you can keep it in the left side as well if you want to put it bottom center whatever wherever you want you can drag and not only that you can edit directly from here so huge sale 70 percent whatever you write instantly it reflects here and bold italic heading and quotation hyperlink add any image there are a lot of option here which you can utilize so click on ok and that's it so your first banner is successfully created now in this text if you go to option then you can see here this text you just customize or click on here so you can change your text this one as well and this button so similarly this these buttons you can also change so that was the first banner and now let's edit second banner click on option and then once again let's change media from here so this way you can select as many as banners you want for example i'm going to select this one this time now use this banner so in the top also you can see that how many banners you have selected for the timing there are four but you can customize and add more just I'll click here and then you can see these are the text color you can select so let's see okay yellow or white whatever color you want black you can select from here and similarly you can drag whatever wherever you find it comfortable so this way you can change the color as well and from here also left right center text align left align center align right align font size also you can increase as per your requirement so guys as you can see it is very flexible and easy to use line height text color class if you have any uh, custom class then you can provide here custom class also so this way you can 
customize your banner and this is the button so padding expand primary for example i want to keep it secondary the button will look different option and text you can change it is displaying shop now you can change the text success white there are different kind of things you can select from here outline simple size normal extra large for example if you want a large button and then animate from left it will come animated from the left small capital in short you have a lot of option padding margin you just drag and you can see you can provide here margin and padding okay radius for button for example for this button if i want to keep it right and uh, left right and border radius you can see button you can customize border radius it is very very flexible guys expand if you want a larger button you can keep it like this depth hover so there are a lot of options which you can use and customize so click on apply and then update so guys we have worked on so guys as you can see slowly slowly now these are looking fine right and we are making a beautiful e-commerce website and one more thing we are using this kind of color so if you want to match this color so how you can do that from top bar uh, if you go here themes option and then header and then top bar in the header top bar and then you can select here the color for example this color matches with our design nav style so just publish and check just close it so yes guys now you can see the website is looking better so we will work on this section and also product and slider and all these parts one by one so that you can get an idea how to customize this whole website so stay connected let's meet in the next chapter you guys welcome back to tutorial days and in this video you are learning flat sum theme and you are learning how to develop a professional website without coding so guys now in this section we will work on this part okay so this uh, procedure is same let's load it first so when you place mouse it will show that where you are for example i am clicking on this then you can see this row is selected okay so let me do one thing just let's delete this okay so it is not fixed you can create your own element for example i'm just clicking here and i will select this um, section okay now this section is here inside this section we can put any element so what i'm doing just let's keep it and then see where this section is now you can see this section is here you can drag and let's put here so now you can see this section is here now inside this section you can add another element for example if you want to create three section then there are three parts in each part you can add something different for example if you want to 
put here say image mm, there are different elements whatever you like you can put here so or you want to put video or gallery flip box product categories so there these are the things you can put there so in my case i want to put their image okay so this is the placeholder image here it says just upload the image and you can so image overlay here you can put and uh, select image so let's upload an image this time i will select some other image for example i want to select this image but this is very large image so rather i will select some other picture this one is also very large but let's select so this is the image i will select here it's loading okay so this way you can insert the image as well here you can adjust the width and also there are different uh, sizes you can select for example if you want to select this this size then it will show something like this and if you want to take original large in short there are different sizes of this image you can adjust from here height width so one pixel rather let's keep it blank margin padding light box caption and uh, image overlay if you put overlay then it will show something like this for example if i want i want to show here overlay and uh, zoom depth hover parallax there are lot of features you can see you can play around one by one so it is rgb and then rgb a okay so i just put here rgba so that it it will look transparent something like this okay so you can see that how much uh, option has been provided in this you can do a lot of things here similarly you can insert image here or whatever element you want for example here you want to insert something uh, any content so say text if you want to write something then just go here and write whatever you like make bold italic uh, more text here like this okay 
okay similarly if you want to put here some slider so let's do one thing because this is smaller place so i will i will not put here slider uh, gap gallery icon box option here select icon which icon you want to put for example i want to take this icon so icon will be showing here and then icon width where want you want to keep it in center normally you might have seen this kind of services or products when you are creating so this kind of thing you can easily do and uh, width and title image small tool tip medium large this text you can adjust from here margin padding you can provide here icon border this kind of border you can apply icon color just imagine you are not writing any line of code but in spite of that you can see you are able to develop a full fledged website yourself then link after clicking where it will go same window or different window and finally let's click on apply here so guys you can see we have created different things image normal text and then icon box here it is showing best selling product you can also customize this so everything is here this section then pro this is product section instead of this if you want to display something else you can also do that and then here and this section also and this one is testimonial slider banner if you want to guys let me show you one thing now look at this website this website i have designed and created using this flatsum only this is my client's website one of my customers website but you can see you can customize something like this isn't it this is beautiful right you might be you guys might be telling that okay i am praising myself but it's not like that actually so you can see you can design of course you have to know some coding and design as well so this kind of things you can design if you put effort and you practice okay it's not very difficult so let's get back to our tutorial so here you can see this is the client section right so inside the it there is a overlay image you can similarly put here image overlay so banner and then put here image say we are going to use this image now you can see the image is here you can adjust the height here say 500 it will go up to here according to your need you can adjust here okay latest news and this one is blog post right so if you go here product done this one is title and gap this gap is between two elements if you want to put in that case and uh, slider banner that is already done blog post it's here and this one is best selling 
so let's update it now if you want to customize footer okay and one more thing suppose you want to write here faq normally there is faq na so let's go here but before that let's go for footer so header this one is header and then footer click here guys in this chapter i'm going to show you how to uh, change the design of this footer okay so let's do one thing let's go to flash some and then uh, here and finally we will click on footer so here uh, you can see this is part of the footer this one also okay so if you want to customize this upper section then here you can select the color and change for example i want to make it red then you can see the ground color this one Okay, so actually we need to change this one so we have to okay so this is footer 2 okay you can see that one is gone and if you once again enable this footer 2 then it will display and also you have option here how many columns do you want to have it so currently it has four columns one two three four and it is already selected for if you want to keep it six column or three columns two columns so depending upon your requirement you can customize here the number of columns for example if i want to keep these three columns then you can see it is displaying three columns and this one is uh, going the next column so better let's keep it four columns also text color here it is displaying why there are two different text color this one is white and this one is black and also this is important because this color if you want to change you can change the color from here okay so this option is provided here you can customize and change the color so according to our top color this violet right we have so we can keep that color here violet okay and this one is absolute footer which means the last this one so you can also select and change the color of absolute footer this one for example i want to keep it black or some other color then i can change this color also so remember this one is absolute footer here the heading absolute footer and so where will it be center you can see this one is displayed in center if you want to keep it in left side then you can keep left or right so depending upon your requirement you can keep there and it is displaying here here automatically it is taking and where it says flat something you can of course change the text from here and this one is back to normally there is back click to a uh, top go to top also if you want to hide this to mobile then you can hide this in mobile device then back to top if you want to hide it then you can hide in the mobile device and most important you can see you can check live here 
टैब मोबाइल एक्सेट्रा सो लेट्स पब्लिश एंड सी सो बेसिकली यू कैन सी देर आर थ्री फोटर्स दिस इज फोटर नंबर वन फोटर नंबर टू एंड दिस वन इज एब्सोल्यूट फोटर तो दिस इज फोटर वन If you want to disable that one, then you can see it is easily disabled. You don't have to write any code at all. So just disable from here. Also, if you don't want this one also, then go to footer two and simply disable this. That's it. So whatever footer you want to. So basically, there are three footers. So this one is second footer. So this is footer one. and then you can edit the widgets these are the widgets you can see so once you click here then you can customize means change its text as well so here you can see it is written about us then here is the text heading and then footer about us you can edit the block it says you can edit block with a ux builder this section it says you can edit from blocks so where where you can change from this so let's go to blocks ux block uh ux block must be somewhere here okay it's not here let's go to main section here and then ux blocks so guys here you can see footer new letter footer shop and blog header and footer about this one so edit with ux builder and then finally you can edit the text from here okay so now you understand that where from where you can change the footer about now let's get back one second to the footer section that some and then advance not the one actually here and then footer so let's get back to there once again now it says edit footer widgets so footer one footer two you can footer one you can see it is displaying product list so whatever you want to keep here for example it is displaying product list okay you can see here it is displaying product list in case uh, if you don't need this this one so all these are display here you can see and re, you can reorder also this is best selling featured if you want to display featured one in the top okay so best selling latest top rated all these three are displaying there in case if you don't need any one of these for example uh, i don't need this the selling then you can go here and simply click remove it go remove from here apart from that you can add your own widget for example if i just click here you can see a lot of things are there so whatever you want you can add from here for example video recent post recent comments apart from that you can also add your custom html from here okay so whatever you write in custom html it will display here publish and you can see this tag is displaying here so guys as you can see it is really very flexible to change and customize the whole website and you can if you follow the guidelines and if you just put some effort then you can design a complete e-commerce website without knowing any single line of 
code of course if you know html css basic level then of course you can design it and in very less time you can develop a complete e-commerce website without much effort so hope you like this video in case you, if you have not subscribed my channel yet then i would strongly recommend to subscribe so that this kind of useful video i will be bringing for you and through notification it will reach to you first so thanks for watching bye bye